All right. This is going to be <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but this is my first video. I guess I'm gonna make called um, Making My Dream Come True or Making. One sec. Okay. Making comics until my dream comes true. Something like that. I am going to be working on my comics as full time as I can. I've been working on them a lot already, but I need some push to do it and making comics is all I've ever wanted to do. It's what I want to do for a living and I want to be able to actually do it for a living. Not just, you know, for fun. I mean, I want people to enjoy my comics and to have the idea that people are out there reading and enjoying something I create. It's all that I could ask for. I mean, eventually I would like to work for, like, companies like Marvel and stuff, but it's not more about the status than it is that I just would love to have my stories shown and people read it and enjoy it and I get to interact with people that read it and enjoy it. So if you want to come with me and go on my journey to um, make this a reality, then let's go. Okay, so getting started, what I do is, <laughs> you're going to see me dance a lot because I was listening to All Time Low's new album, Tell Me Alive, and I am loving it. I listened to it a lot since it came out, so yeah. Here I am working on one of my comics. You can see a little sneak peek of one of the pages, some of the panels, and see how I work on it and do stuff like that. So you're going to see me do like a pretty basic sketch of what I want to do with it, and then you're going to see me dance some more. Um, yeah. I'm going to be doing, yeah, this panel, I'll be showing how I color it and stuff like that, but I usually start the day by getting up, having something to eat, uh, looking at some stuff that inspires me, checking my social media, and then I get to working on my comics. So remember the whole saying for anything, but especially artists, is work smarter, not harder. So yeah, you might see me take like the hand from the other panel and just flip it because honestly, with comics, people aren't going to really care if the hand is the same or not. <laughs> if you do, sorry, but uh, that's how it goes. The less time I have to do drawing hands, <laughs> the more time I can use towards doing something else. So, yeah, it helps me get this done. So here I'm just drawing like the kind of dart that I want, making it look kind of funky. And I'm putting it and labeling it where I want it. But yeah, so I start the day with doing some panels for my comic, working up towards doing some stuff that I need to get done. I work on my comics every day for a few hours, doing a page for each, and I have three going right now. So this is only one partial bit of the pages I work on. All right, so for working on my comics, um, for those that don't know, I think this is kind of funny. Um, the thing that I've been planning my story in for my um, main comic, like the comic book, The Alchemist, is in <laughs> this that has like an old Pooh Bear sticker. It was like an old one that I had used in school for like taking notes and then I ripped all the notes out of it <laughs> and started um, writing in it. But I actually do have the paper in here somewhere for my first planning ever. And the story for The Alchemist was actually kind of different. But, uh, superhero details, here's where I came up with his logo. Alright, so I have been working on making more merchandise to sell. So as you can see here, I am making my own epoxy pins at home. Where I buy, like, clear epoxy stickers, one inch, and I got a one inch hole punch. And I print out some of my drawings, some of my art, and I print it out, and then I use uh, the E, what is it, 6000 glue. It's a craft adhesive, but also like a really strong adhesive. And I put the clip backings on the pins, the pin backings, and yeah, this is basically what it looks like for me to take. So I've taken all my hole punch, 
uh, pictures and all my epoxy stickers, line them up really nicely, and then I start gluing the backs on. I didn't think you need to see the whole thing from beginning to finish, but this is kind of what I've been doing a little bit each day. So, so far I made 60 and I bought another 60 to make, and I will be using it all as much as I can. But that is not the only product I am making. So, as you guys have seen on my channel before, if you watch me, and if not, you can go and check it out. But I was doing last year a comic and zine market, and the submissions for this year have just opened, and this time it is a two day market. And so I applied once again and decided to start getting supplies ready. Even if I don't get accepted this year, which I think I will, but if I don't, I can always still sell these at different markets or on my online store. So don't worry about that. And if you want any of these, um, I'll be trying to get this up on my store pretty soon here. So hopefully within the next few months, you guys are gonna be able to see all the new stuff I'm coming out with. I also have these cute little magnets that have these little acrylic block on top. And so as you can see, I go and put it on and it's really cute. I also have been working on my Patreon, at, even as to go as far as making comics like this, having different tiers, friends, best buddies, and practically family, because you guys are all close to me, so yeah, a lot of stuff. I've been working on comics like my digital comic, webcomic, that will be coming out this year, and I've been working like a dog on it. I have my first book of The Alchemist that I've been re-editing, and as for the next book for The Alchemist, I'm also working on that. And on top of that, my online store. So, as you can see, I have been a busy beaver. Haha, <laughs> I'm Canadian. I don't think that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> um, thank you so much you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!